The Let It Be box set is I. Me. Mine. Hi, hi, everybody, and welcome to the next Beatles unboxing of the week. And it is the Super Deluxe Edition CD box set. Um, so, being delivered by Amazon while I was at work today. Let's get into it. So, it comes in a separate box inside. So, some of you may know, some of you may not know, I don't collect the Beatles on vinyl. Um, largely because I have everything on CD in I have the original CD releases I have a stereo box set I have a mono box set I have a US box set um, and then I've been getting all the new 50th anniversary releases on CD I do have a singles collection vinyl box set the Christmas vinyl box set I have red and blue albums on vinyl just because they were the first Beatles I ever owned and I wanted to have them on vinyl and of the Beatles and Tony Sheridan but the main reason really is that I know I'm going to be inheriting a lot of Beatles vinyl so there's no point spending a lot of money on it when I get most of the albums at some point I'm going to double check what mum's got up, up in the loft and pick up the rest but yeah at the moment not collecting it on vinyl so hence I have the CD box set so as usual, very expensive, there is the Beatles tax to pay, where any Beatles release is considerably more expensive than equivalent releases by most other acts. Um, and as usual though, it's very high quality by the looks of it. There is some controversy over what's included and we'll cover that. But yes, Beatles Let It Be 6 Disc Edition, new mixes by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell, O'Kell, however you say his name. Let It Be, plus two CDs of outtakes, jams, rehearsals and studio chat, plus the Get Back album, 1969 mixed by Glyn Johns, and Let It Be EP. Blu-ray Dolby Atmos 5.1 and PCM Stereo. 100-page hardback book with in-depth essays, track-by-track -track recording information, and forward by Paul McCartney. So, let's get into this. Get the shrink off, he says. Easier said than done. You I shouldn't have cut my nails this morning. Luckily I left one long. So we are in. Okay, so as you can see it's in a, a die cut outer slip, which is very nice. And on the back we have the track listing. So yeah, CD1 is a new is the new mix of the original album. Disc two is Get Back the Apple Sessions, featuring some alternate takes and speech and things like that. Disc 3 is Get Back Rehearsals and Apple Jams, which is exactly what it says. And again, a bit of speech in there. Uh, disc 4 is Get Back LP, the 1969 Glyn Johns mix. So originally the album was given to Glyn Johns, basically, or the stuff that had been recorded was given to Glyn Johns. And he put together a couple of versions of what was then called Get Back, um, both of which ended up not being used and the Phil Spector version of the album eventually came out. Disc 5 is a Let It Be EP. Um, so it's Across the Universe, I Me Mine, Don't Let Me Down and Let It Be. Across the Universe and I Me Mine are uh, unreleased Glyn John's 1970 mixes and Don't Let Me Down and Let It Be are new mixes of the original single versions. Uh, Disc 6 is Blu-ray which has got the original album in the formats I mentioned earlier. So, take off that, and we have the book by the looks of it, and the material. So, this includes the same flyer as was in the Get Back book, as anticipated. So, a decent 100 page hardback book. Digging into me already. So this will be similar to the books we've had with Abbey Road and White Album and Sgt Pepper. Where the people involved talk about it and then 
lots of analysis of the tracks etc i'm not going to go through the whole thing but i'll just randomly pick some pages but it looks very different from the get back book maybe some shared photos but the content looks very different which is good and just yeah man at the end again it's got me what's on where and the credits etc so that's the book that looks good and then we have the physical media in a little wallet so nice they've all got their own sleeves and they're all different as well so disc one was new mix of the original album I'll take these out individually Ooh, he says so we have a mini version of the original album sleeve and the disc has the apple disc 2 get back the apple sessions a little bit creased up at the bottom there I'm not overly bothered by that but it's a little bit annoying sort of same style as the original so actually it's the, the photos from the back of let it be are on the front and vice versa and it has the apple demo label so disc three rehearsals and apple jams has the same images and the same CD image. Uh, shame that that can be slightly different. But I can sort of see why they've done it. Uh, disc four is the Glyn Johns mix. So this was going to originally what they were going to use as the cover. So this was the recreation of the original 1963 shot. I think it was 63, might be 62, but the, the original shot of the Beatles at the EMI offices that they recreated, and then those two images were eventually used for the red and black albums uh, red and black that's prints for you red and blue albums uh i mean on the back proper old style section uh and this has got the cut apple so you can i don't know if you can see on camera yeah you can just about see lots of unused space on that disc which you can again you can sort of see why well, i didn't check on the apple jams how full they are Let's see oh uh, well we, there you know, there's a good chunk of unused space there but we could have put more stuff on and and again on that one huge chunk of unused space you know there's hours and hours and hours of material they could have crammed those discs full and then you get the EP which is done to look like an EP so again why is there an EP you know why is there not just a fifth full disc and then the blu-ray goes back to the original album cover and we have a red apple yeah, that's a blue ray. Yes. Blue. Um, so yeah controversial because of the amount of material that's on there or more importantly the amount that's missing um, the inclusion of the EP why and then there's a glaring omission and that's the complete rooftop concert it's probably you know the speculation is is because it's going to get a separate release possibly to tie in with the release of a get back movie tv series whatever you want to call it peter jackson's three part um release you know so possibly it's going to come out maybe in a box set with the blu-rays and dvds of that or just alongside the TV sh showings 
Um, you know, that's for speculation because why else is it not on there? You know, it is. It was the culmination of the Let It Be project. It is available. You know, it's well bootlegged. So why isn't it there? Um, but yes, overall, as usual, great looking package. Um, apart from that little dent in the corner of one of mine, a well made package. Um, but could do better material wise probably but I'm looking forward to giving it a listen um, it's always exciting hearing new Beatles some of it I have bootlegged but in hopefully the best quality available although again there's talk that maybe some of these aren't um, but yeah we shall see but that is it that is let it be I don't think I showed that um, let it be by the Beatles Super Deluxe Edition Unboxed. Thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Thanks, bye.